Hillary Clinton, who hopes to be that next president, is trying to put an end to the email controversy that's jeopardizing her chances. She's now done something she long refused to do, apologize for using a private email server while she was Secretary of State. Here's Nancy Cordes. Um, but as it took I, six as months said, to get from this. Um, I saw it as a matter of convenience, and it was allowed to this. That was a mistake. I'm sorry about that. I take responsibility. The course correction came after more defensive answers and half apologies failed to put the issue to rest. And after a focus group in New Hampshire reportedly revealed that Clinton's email troubles were drowning out her message. On Tuesday, Clinton tried dancing her cares away at a taping of Ellen, but the issue surfaced even there. I made a mistake and I'm sorry for all the confusion that has ensued. She followed that up with a contrite letter posted on Facebook, admitting I could have and should have done a better job answering questions earlier. Democratic strategist Steve McMahon. Do you think people will buy that this is a true apology? I think it would have been better if the apology had come sooner. But I don't think that will make it ineffective. Thank you. Thank you. The evolution in her answers brought back bad memories for supporters who saw a similar pattern play out in the 2008 campaign over her vote to go to war in Iraq. But why can't you just say right now that that vote was a mistake? Well, Wolf, I think that um, if you look at what was going on at the time, it wasn't until 2014, six years later, that Clinton acknowledged in her book, Hard Choices, that she got it wrong, plain and simple. Some believe that her refusal to admit that earlier cost her votes and eventually the nomination. Her slide in recent polls had aides worry, Jim, that she was falling into some of the same traps that the campaign had vowed to avoid this time. Nancy Cordes in our Washington newsroom. Thank you.